Hi, this is Clarissa with Pickaway County Library bringing you this week's preschool story time. This week we're going to sing a song, read a book, and do some activities with chocolate. Hope you like chocolate and you'll enjoy this story time with me. We're going to start with our song, Handy Pandy. I'll sing it once so you can hear the words and then we'll sing it again and I hope you'll join me. Handy Pandy, Jack a dandy, loves plum cake and chocolate candy. He bought some at a grocer's shop and out he came, hop, hop, hop. Okay, let's sing it a second time and you join me this time. Handy Pandy, Jack a dandy, loves plum cake and chocolate candy. He bought some at a grocer's shop and out he came, hop, hop. That's fun, I like the clapping there at the end. Now we're gonna move on to our story. Our book we're gonna read this week is The Last Chocolate Chip Cookie. Today's book is The Last Chocolate Chip Cookie, written by Jamie Ricks, illustrated by Claire Elsom, published by Little Bee Books. The Last Chocolate Chip Cookie. There was one chocolate chip cookie left on the plate, so I leaned across the table and took it. Jack, gasped my mom, where are your manners? Offer the last chocolate chip cookie to everyone else first. Everyone else, I asked. Everyone else, she insisted. So I put the last chocolate chip cookie in my pocket and did as I was told. I offered it to my brother, but he didn't want it. I offered it to my dad, but he didn't want it. I offered it to Gran and even to the cat, but they didn't want it. So I offered the last chocolate chip cookie to my teacher, the window cleaner, the bus driver, and the dentist, but none of them wanted it. So I took the last chocolate, chocolate chip cookie into space and offered it to an alien. But the alien didn't want to eat the last chocolate chip cookie. He wanted to eat me. Splagly, gasped his mom. Where are your manners? Offer the human being to everyone else first. Everyone else, he asked. Everyone else, she insisted. So Splagly put me in his pocket and did as he was told. He offered me to his daddle, his brotter, his grin-gran, the catamog, his wormhole teacher, the spaceship cleaner, the space bus pilot, and the fang filler. He flew all around the universe and offered me to any alien he could find, including a four-eyed boggly marsh masher. But no one wanted me until he arrived back on Earth and offered me to my mom. Yes, I would like him, please, she said. It's lovely to meet an alien with such good manners. I told my mom that I offered the last chocolate chip cookie to everyone else, but no one wanted it. Then you can eat it, she said. It will taste twice as delicious now that you've been so polite. As I took it out of my pocket, I was drooling. I'd waited a long time to eat the last chocolate chip cookie. I took a bite. It tasted like cardboard gunk gloop with hairs on it. Do you want the last chocolate chip cookie? Ew, looks pretty gross, doesn't it? The end. What'd you think of that book? Did you like that story? I thought it was pretty funny. For today's activity, we're going to practice counting and color matching along with some comparison. You can use this printable sheet with something like M&Ms. I'm going to use buttons. You could also use beads as an alternative for those that don't want or can't have candy. Just make sure you watch your child so that they don't try putting them in their mouth. So as you're laying out your candies or buttons, you can count each one from each color if you wanna do it that way. 
or you can wait till you get to the end and count the total number for each color. And then when you're completely finished, you can compare all the colors and see which color you have the most of. Maybe ask your child which color they like the best. You can save this sheet and reuse it so you can practice counting and colors more than once. Looks like we got quite a few green. And if you decide to use something like chocolate candies, the best part is when you're done, you can eat the candy. There we go. So now I would ask my child which one we had the most of, which one we had the least of, and we can count each of the numbers, but it's easy to have a visual so we can match the colors, see which quantities are smaller and which quantities are greater. There'll be a PDF for you to print this from the comments below the story time video. For our craft this week, we're going to be painting with chocolate syrup. You can finger paint if you want, or you can use brushes. I'm using just chocolate syrup you can buy at the store. If you want to thicken it up a little bit, you can add some cornstarch. If you want to thin it down and make it not as dark, then you can mix in a little bit of water for some lighter shades. So I'm just gonna use my finger. This is fun for the kids that like to get a little messy and color in this printable dog picture. Maybe you could make spots on the dog. You can color it all in, or maybe just the ears and legs. This will be a PDF that you can find in the comments under the video, or feel free to come up with your own drawing. And then maybe when you're done, you can have some ice cream with chocolate on top or a cold glass of chocolate milk. There we go, I think that's good. He looks cute and he smells good. Hopefully you'll have fun with this craft at your house. Thank you for joining me for this week's story time. I hope you'll join us again next week. You can log this story time as an attended program on Beanstack to count towards a virtual badge as part of our summer reading challenge. You can also log the minutes read during this story time as minutes read for your child or yourself on the Beanstack app or online. We have a community goal and an age group goal that these minutes can count towards. Also wanted to let you know about a couple of upcoming programs we have in person. On July 20th at Canal Park, we're having story time in the park. No registration is required for this program. And on July 22nd, we're having Mr. Puppet also at Canal Park Pre-registration is required to attend this one. Thank you again and hope to see you next week.